Whoa, hey everybody, what is going on? Happy Monday morning to you. If you are new here, welcome to Faithfully Bearded. If you are a returning clicker, viewer, watcher, listener, any of the above, thank you for coming back again. And today we are going to unbox, we're going to kick off a new week. I'm going to give you my first impressions of a new company that is, well, new to me, maybe new to you. I never heard of them until I started this week venturing in with them. So thank you to all the podcast listeners. I will do my best to describe this as best as possible. If you didn't know, I do have a podcast. We also have a website with merchandise, discounts, Amazon stuff. So you can head on over to faithfullybearded.com and check that out as well. So let's get all the house cleaning out of the way with the website, the podcast, the like, the subscribe, the smashing of the bell, the commenting below. And let's dig in to what I want to show you guys this week. So if you've watched my Monday videos before, you know I get these packages, and then I grab my trusty sharp steel, and I slice it open, and I show you what's inside. So we're going to do that. For anybody that's new here, <clears throat> this is what we do on Monday. So I got this Postal Service white box with red priority mail tape, meaning it was priority shipped to me, with a sticker here from Kraken Skulls. Kraken Skulls? What? It's not Kraken Skulls. They ain't Kraken Skulls. It's Kraken. Or is it Kraken? I don't really know. <clears throat> but they are from Fayetteville, North Carolina, Rayford Road. I was just there in August. Did some skydiving. If you haven't checked out that video, it's in the playlist somewhere. It's on the channel. Go back and check out that skydiving video. You can see me and Maddie skydive, jump out of an airplane. See how scared I was. I'm afraid of heights. Oh man, this is one of those childproof boxes. I always struggle with these things. I've been told just to find the slit and cut along it. Doesn't always work. Whoa, we got one side open. Okay, one of these childproof boxes here. We got one side open. Let's see. All right, we got another. We got the flap. Let's dig it in here. All right, here we go. I promise we're almost there. Nothing like watching a grown man with a knife struggling to open up a taped box. How does that work? All right, so we open it up here. And this is what we have for a presentation on the inside, all right? So we got a couple of different things in there. This is what it looks like right when you first dig in. Now, I had never heard of this company, so I don't know a ton about them. I haven't done any research on them yet. And the purpose behind that is I want to give you my exact first impressions when I first find out what's in here, what it's about. And then I'll sit down and have an interview with them uh, tomorrow, tonight, Wednesday, sometime. Shoot the review for you on Friday and get you all my final thoughts gathered up and give them an FRS score based on my experiences. So I don't like to research beforehand. I like to spend the week wearing, researching, and communicating. We'll just say that. So the first thing we have in here is a sticker. Check that out. They got a pretty cool logo there. I like the skull on there. Throw the American flag in there. Uh, Creek and Skulls. This looks like one of those, like, let me see. It's just an easy peel sticker. It's like a vinyl sticker. I think it's a vinyl sticker. This is one of those stickers that costs a little bit of money and sticks to everything and always looks good. Then we have some breakaway lanyards. All right, so Crake and Skulls. You got their website on here. You got the little breakaway doot, doot, doot thing, you know, like, you know how those clip. And then you got a hook on the end to clip on whatever you want. So I have a feeling Aubrey's going to steal this because that's what she does. Then we got some business cards. So I'll give you a good look at that right there. There's the business card, veteran owned. And then there's this side of it here. So we're supporting up the veteran owned company out of North Carolina. I mean, realistically, I was probably right next to them when we were in North Carolina. I mean, we were in Fayetteville. We were in there. All right, and then we have, man, I don't even know. All right, so check this out. You get this white envelope, plastic seal bag thing, and it's got stuff in it. It's got their sticker on it. So we just go right back to option A, their knife. 
Now you always want to make sure when you slit bags like this that everything's down at the bottom and you slit up here because I have used a knife, slit through these packages, and slit something inside. You don't want to do that. All right, so we got some bombs. I'll give you a closer up look at those in a second here because I want to get the oils first. For some reason, it's like this not, like, it's not a rule, but it's like this unspoken rule. Did I just scare you by cutting towards my chest? Did I just scare you? Comment below if that scared you. It's like an unwritten rule that you have to start with oils. If it's not an unwritten rule, it is now. All right, so let's open up the first one here. Let's just see. We got Aubrey Chores. It's wrapped in bubble wrapped Aubrey Chores. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, so let me show you. So this one's called Cool Breeze Beard Oil. So you got Cool Breeze. You got a cool skull, cool looking label on here. You have a how to use. You have ingredients. Ingredients. Who doesn't like some ingredients in their beard oil? You got grapeseed oil, coconut oil, beeswax, shea butter, argan oil, jojoba seed oil, special fragrance blend, D alpha, toca feral, rosemary leaf extract. Now, something that caught me. Did this catch you guys below? Comment below if this caught you guys off. But what caught me on here is they says there's beeswax and shea butter in here. In the oil? Or do they maybe just use the same ingredient label list for oil and balms? I don't know. We're going to find out. That's one of those questions that you see and you're like, what is going on here? So you get a pump, like a spray top. This oil, let me, okay, let me get a sniff first. So this is Cool Breeze. Ooh, I like that. That is a cloney scent. I'm kind of interested, like... This oil feels a little thick to me, so I kind of want to see. I don't know if you can see it rubbing down my hand there or not. It's not that. It's not as thick as I thought it was. Man, this has a nice scent. This is that's good. Cool breeze is good. Um, it's like minty, but not overly minty, but cologne type smelling at the same time. Imagine yourself standing out in the cool breeze, getting a big snifferoo. And that's what it smells like to you. No, I don't know. Don't don't take... Don't, it doesn't smell like the wind, especially if you live in South Dakota. All right, so this one, we have the exact same ingredients list. And this one is cognac and Cuban's beard oil. All right. This is going to be a, like a cigar scent or a tobacco scent. Look at the label, how it kind of matches. So the last one was Cool Breeze and it was blue. This one's like Cuban and it's like the brownish color, like a Cuban. So let's see what this is like. <laughs> ah, I got that sniffer all ready to go. Sniffer's all ready to go. OMG. Wow. This is like initially bad and initially good. Like I had two different distinct memories when I opened this up. Two different distinct memories. The first one, it almost has like a like an old school chewing tobacco like scent. But it has a new school tobacco scent. Wow, this is nice. I could imagine like, imagine like a tobacco scent in like the 80s, early 90s and what you think that might smell like. This is probably it. And I actually really like that too. So I did, I did good picks. I did good picks. He gave me this, the, the names of the oils and said pick. So I did. And then we have Morning Burst. Again, same ingredients. Morning Burst. Now, they don't say what they are on here, so I'm just guessing. But I'll have the scent profiles for you by Friday. You, If you watch this channel, you should know that by Friday I'll have the scent profiles. If you don't watch this channel, shame on you. But you're here now, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You see how I did that? Yeah, yeah. All right, here you go. We get it up here. You got the orange because it's a morning breeze or morning morning burst like the sun in the morning when it comes over the hills. Unless you don't have any hills, it comes over the horizon at that point. All right. Monday morning. My humor is a little off. My humor is a little off. It's Monday morning. You know, it takes a little bit for these senses to kick in for the week. Morning burst. That is like, okay, so initially you get hit with orange. You get hit with orange, but there's something that follows. There's something earthy that follows. 
Oh, I'm not going to be able to pinpoint it. There's something real earthy in there that follows the orange. So you get the sweetness and that orange citrus scent right away. And then something comes out. And I don't know what it is, but something comes out. And it's just amazing. So let's jump on over and take a look at the bombs that they sent. So I got the same scent profiles here in the bombs. And let's just take a look at this. How about you get a close up? You want a close up of that? Oh yeah, look at that skull. I love these labels. I like that skull. This is kind of like old school skull. Uh, American flag, you got some nice print on here, two ounce twist top lid. Now, to answer the question about earlier, they do use the same ingredients uh, for their labels. So, like, they're not separating out separating out the ingredients between oil and balm, I don't think, unless there is really uh, beeswax in the oil, I'll clarify, but um, you got the same ingredient list on the balms here. And when you open this up, you look what you get. Doesn't look bad at all, does it? Looks nice and smooth. Feels nice and smooth. Ah, oh, and this scent, this this Cubans, this is amazing. This is an awesome scent. It smells just like the oil to me. Yep, I just sniffed it with the lid on there. You caught it. You caught me. You caught me. I had the lid on and I took a last sniff like I was actually going to smell something. Because uh, I wanted another sniff. But it smells just like the oil on that one. So now let's take a look at the, uh, the cool breeze. Cool breeze. Smells just like the oil, not quite as strong as the oil. You get a little bit of the beeswax scent, but not a ton. Not a whole lot, nothing to worry about. And this is the Morning Burst. And definitely not as strong as the oil. Definitely not as strong as the oil. I get a little bit, but mostly beeswax. It's, it's not nearly as strong as the oil, and that could be the, uh, like the orange uh, scent to, that they use to fragrance it. So what else do we have in the box here? We got this. We got this. Another one of those those child safety devices or anti-safe child child traps. What are these things? Like they're just plastic bags, but suffocation, you know, like suffocating things. So Aubrey chores, but we won't make her do the chores on that one. I mean, she's old enough now not to put a bag around her head. All right. So here you have a shirt. Check that out. That's the front. There's the back. There it is. Gonna be a little bit big for me. Might do. Might have to do a giveaway on this. It's a little big for my size, but we'll figure it out. And then we have, what is this? Another shirt, but this is a polo. This one will be way too big. I will drown in this one. This is a extra large. But to show you what they have, like maybe we'll give this away. Comment below if you guys are any of these sizes and you want one of these shirts. We'll figure it out with you guys because they're quite a bit too big for me. But feels nice. Got their logo on it. Looks good. If anybody wants a t-shirt or a polo, we can do something with that for my faithful followers or the new people here. Whatever. Just have that subscribe button hit it, you know, like realistically. I'm, I'm starting with that the Cuban scent. I'm starting with the Cuban scent. It smells amazing. I can't wait to get it in my beard. And I don't even smoke cigars. I don't even know if that's what a Cuban's supposed to smell like. I mean, maybe I just need to buy some Cubans and see if that's how they really smell. I don't know. Or I'll ask around. But I, I really like these spritzer tops. So that's cool with me. I, I know some of you probably don't like them. But it's nice not to have to open the bottle and expose it to the air, I guess. That's, that's something. Uh, for me, I just like to squirt some in my hand and be done. Put it down. Not have to worry about spilling it. Because I have knocked one into the toilet before that I left open. Lesson learned, never happen again, but you don't want to spill your beard oil. You like it nice and clean. I happen to like those uh, spray tops. They work good for me. And then the twist top lid. So I'm, I'm kind of pumped to dig in. I got three three cents here. We got oil, bomb, and shirts, lanyards, business cards, and a cool sticker. So we're going to review it all. And I'm going to be back with you on Friday to give you the review and the final FRS score. And now you might say final FRS score. Don't we need an initial one? You're right. We do need an initial one. So based on what I'm seeing with ingredients, what I'm seeing with label, design, scent profile so far, man, I, I have no choice but to come in at 8.5. 8.5 to initially start off. The scents are amazing. Um, I, I, I liked the packaging and the presentation. I mean, I got extra stuff in there that I didn't know I was going to get. Um, he went above and beyond without... Uh, um, 
with with sending more than just oils and bombs. Um, I like the oil. I like the look of the label. It looks waterproof to me. So I'm pretty pumped about this. We're going to dig in, see how it goes. So until I talk to you guys again soon, make sure you comment below, share this out, give a like, and a subscription to the Faithful channel. We're just going to start. Should we start? I keep trying to figure out what I'm going to call you guys. And, I, you know, we went with, like, clickers. I still like clickers a lot. Faithful followers. Faith. Thonians, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Maybe we can have a poll or something. Give me your ideas down below. And until, f well, Wednesday, because I'm going to have a new review. I'm going to have a video on Wednesday in my new series for the newbies. So thank you all for, so much for joining. Have a wonderful Monday. Kick your day off with a smile. And until Friday, God bless you all.